Oh, thank you. What's going on, Dragon Ball Super fans? Not even Dragon Ball Super fans, just Dragon Ball fans in general. Great day for us. Great day. We get to see a major villain come back and do what a major villain needs to do and kill off a major character. Piccolo confirmed he's dead. Tragic. But we see, like I said last week, that it started as it began. He's always going to be protecting Gohan no matter what. He laid his life down twice, you know, just to protect Gohan like that in that same, same way. Two different villains, but hey, same way. Give it credit. It was done great. Now, another thing that I want to go ahead and state off is that we see that Goku and Vegeta's training in this, like, space kind of form of the hyperbolic time chamber that we and Beerus sent them to. Now, they get taken out and Beerus, he's just like, yeah, eh, but I'm, I'm still going to eat pizza. So the comedy part of this is where, you know, we literally beams down all this damn pizza and they're all empty. And he's like, oh, they're all empty. And we just like sitting there for a second. And this is when I kind of smiled for a little bit because I knew that Goku and Vegeta had to eat these pizzas. And Beerus is like, what the hell? Like, how is all my pizza gone? And then you see, you hear Goku. He, he had to open his mouth. Well, it was we was hungry in there. We was training, man. I looked like I was gonna starve to death. I mean, I was hungry. And then Vegeta is like, "You bastards are the one that took us there and didn't, you know, give us any food." So of course, of course, we ate them. And Beerus straight up goes in on them. They start running like you know that Beerus is the top dog right now because Goku and Vegeta are running away from him. Like in a comedic kind of form, but it's hilarious to see. Now, getting back to the main thing, we see that on Earth, like I said, Piccolo is down for the count, gone, mad. You know, you can see him like, I mean, straight up. He's already had like holes all through him with just Freeze has been torturing him. Like Freeze should be doing. And I gotta say, for Freeze to come back. Oh my gosh, they're doing him justice and giving him that edgy, just gritty, just diabolical. Like, he is worse than he was before. We can see that, like, especially when it comes to torturing people. Like, you can just see he's just out for bloodshed, just fucking revenge. Now, Gohan, you know, he sees that and he's like, well, I need to get Goku and them here. And you see that um, Goku... And Vegeta's kind of like seeing on, like they're kind of watching everything right now on um, Whis's staff, and they're like, "Yeah, we need to get there." And you know, Whis is like, and now I think it's Beerus. Beerus is like, "Why don't you um, do your ancient transmission and get the gun there?" He's like, "Well, I'm too far away. I can't, you know, censor Kai or anything." Now, or she. Now, Gohan starts to power up. Goes to the Saiyan. His body is literally it looks like it's being torn apart. And he loses consciousness, but he does it in right in the time frame that Goku needs to really get there. So they arrive. Goku, you know, kind of comforting Gohan. He's like, "You're fine. You're okay." We see that Gohan is just straight up torn because he's just like, "If I would have been training, you know, this wouldn't have happened," which is damn near true. But the same for it's kind of like it wouldn't happen, but at the same time. Like, it would happen because Vegeta and Goku's not there, so Freeze is gonna go straight animal ape shit on him, especially if he went to go in Freezer form. But it is great to see. Um, one of the epic things about this is when Vegeta comes back and he's straight up manhandle capping in you. Like, you see Vegeta right beside Goku talking, like, it ain't nothing. And then in a split second, he's right in front of Captain Ginyu. And he's like, well, if you hadn't came back, if you would have saved the frog, you wouldn't have died. And he blows him up. Just blows him up. And I'm just like... Oh, shit. And you see that Goku's kind of like, you didn't have to kill him. You, you, you didn't have to kill him. And that's what I love. Was to see Vegeta back in that killer instinct mode where he's just like, look, I took out all the other Ginyus, so I'm going to take out the Captain. And he did. Took out every last one of them. Absolutely amazing to see. And we see that even Freeze is just like, mm. so Vegeta, you got stronger. Mm -hmm. 
And then he's like, I guess I'll have to kill you after I kill, you know, Goku over here. And he's just like, yeah, not if I kill you first. And so it's, it's funny to see that, you know, they're just like, mm, okay. So we know things is going to go down. Oh my goodness. Frieza turning into his final form. Kill all of his soldiers just to show his strength. And not even strength. His strength. His strength. But he's just like, look. Right now, he's basically like showboating. Like, hey, I just killed all my men in here. So that's my strength. Not strength. Strength. He has strength. But absolutely amazing to see. We see that um, Goku's, you know, doing the same thing he did in Kukas in the left hand. Look, I don't even have to go Super Saiyan. I'm just going to beat you, like, with this right now. Regular base form. And it's great to see. We're going to get to see that fight. I would have to give this episode definitely a, a 9. Definitely you have to go watch it. Um, especially if you're a Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, whatever fan. If you're just a fan of Dragon Ball in general, you need to go watch this episode right fucking now. But we see that obviously Piccolo is going to be um, probably returning after he gets revived back. So it's probably going to want him to train again. So this is going to be epic to see that they're going to incorporate all the other um, characters and they're getting stronger now. Because hopefully we get to see Gohan and actually see Piccolo get stronger too. Because I'm I'm kind of anxious to see how strong Piccolo could get if there's any kind of god to make in like not like a Kami, like a guardian, but an actual like god god. So that that'd be pretty awesome to see uh, the making God, and it'd be it'd be really awesome to see. Um, well, I don't think um, Go On could actually go Super Saiyan God. I, I don't I don't think he might. Well, he might be able to. I don't know. But it'd be awesome to see that. But guys, as always, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think of this week's episode and what you think of next week's episode. Because obviously we're gonna get to see that fight. We're gonna get to see Goku and Frieza go at it. And we get to see Vegeta even erupt Goku and start fighting him for a little bit just like he did. He's also to take over the fight so he can fight him. Hopefully I get to see um Vegeta actually destroy Frieza. Like that would be that would be amazing to see Vegeta actually kill off Frieza in the actual animation to make it anime. But that said guys, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoyed, um share it with everybody that loves Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super or whatever. And yeah, I'm Asi Josh and I'm out. Peace.